Hey Scorpios, I am back with another reading for you guys, okay? Let me see if we can get some quick messages and see what's going on with you guys. You have the world card here in the reverse when I split the deck here, along with the nine of wands. So some of you all could be at a point in your life right now where you're trying to figure out like what's next, like where do I go from here, okay? Um, some of you all could be taking a new journey, okay? Some of y'all could just be traveling. And uh, for others of you all, it's like you're looking at life totally different. Uh, some of you could be abstaining from having sex at this time or uh, your health could be doing much better. I did mention health in the last reading. So for some of you all, there's been victory in a situation and it's starting to affect your health in a good way. Okay. So somebody's coming out of the energy of lack. Okay. Lack of vision and what their life is like. Somebody's walking away from disappointment. Somebody's walking away from an energy of uh, imperfection and you're moving in a new direction where you're starting to recognize this, that there is success on the other side, whether that's success on the other side of a marriage that didn't uh, fulfill you, uh, a relationship that didn't fulfill you, a job, etc. You all are looking towards the future and not looking back because I do feel like for some of you all, I, I keep getting health energy. Some of you all are definitely coming out of a period where you were not feeling very good, uh, whether it's uh, mentally, physically, emotionally. In some way, you all are coming out of this energy here. Um, but there will be calls for celebration. There will be some something that you all will gain materially. And But I do feel some people are suffering with a lack of closure and in an, an unresolved situation. I don't know why I can't talk right now. I feel like some of you all um, didn't get closure with someone. It could be a Capricorn with some of you that you're not getting you're not getting your closure and it's the one thing that you feel is keeping you from moving forward. Let's see why that is, okay? Let's see why that is. Yeah, that's that Knight of Swords energy there as the overall, okay? Knight of Swords in the overall. Uh, there's somebody rushing in towards y'all. Listen, y'all, wait a minute. I do not normally do that. I normally pull like five over here for you because this is your side. And then I go and pull five from here. I'm just going to read it like it is right now. And then if it's called for me to make a difference, different thing later, I will do that. Bottom of the deck, you got the seven of swords. I'm telling you, y'all walked away from somebody that tried to betray you or you, the betrayal happened. Uh, there is also some, I'm telling you, there's either somebody tried to break you. I'm getting a strong sense. Somebody tried to break you all. Somebody deceived some of you all and they tried to get away with it, or at least they thought they did. Let me tell you something. You all may not have seen the karma, but I'm looking at it right now. For some of you all, it's an Aries that's about to experience a tower moment after trying to play you and get away with it. No, baby, karma. <laughs> I'm telling you, look at that. Three of Pentacles next to the tower card. Somebody tried to play you all and tried to get away with it. And I do feel that some of them were entertaining somebody else that could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They thought they were getting away from it. They also thought that they were going to get to your bag as well. But karma is a B. You see how I love how this woman looks in this card. You see how she's holding that pentacle like, no, nah, that's mine, baby. Thank you. Keep trying. I got mine. You go get yours. That's the energy right there. See, this person, they see you as the queen of pentacles, okay? Somebody that is not lacking anything. Somebody that is that has money and you have yourself together. But what they fail to realize is that the queen of pentacles is also intelligent, okay? Able to see through the BS and they're going to protect what they worked hard for no matter what. So if this is somebody that tried to run away with some money in a divorce or this is somebody that tried to get away with something and thought they were slick regardless of the situation, put it wherever it fits for you, they couldn't get away for long. What did I tell you? Some of y'all are dealing with a Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancer that thought they were slick as hell, but you figured out who they were and what they were doing. I'm telling you they were involved with somebody else, okay? This could have been somebody also that could have been violent. Unfortunately, they could have put their hands on you or I, I just got that they could have put their hands on somebody's child or children. This is a, yes, broke your heart. Some of y'all could be dealing with the um, court proceedings right now in regards to this, okay? There is definitely somebody that uh, wanted to leave you all broke or they wanted to leave you broken or in poor health, they left you when you were down and lonely. 
or this is somebody that definitely came in at a point in your life where you weren't feeling so good about yourself. Because at the end of the day, you know, uh, King of Cups is Scorpio, Cancer Pisces energy. You all may have been at the time you know, maybe not feeling so good about yourselves, may have come out of a rough relationship. And this is somebody that may have came in and played on your kindness, taking your kindness for weakness, basically. But with this hermit mode here, which I feel that some of you all have gone into or you soon will be coming into, is this is somebody that is working on their inner strength. I got to be strong with or without somebody in my corner. For some of you all, you just literally had to do it by yourself. You're being very cautious. Some of y'all are being very cautious about having somebody around your children because they may have touched them. Whoa. Okay. That came very strong for somebody. Um, they may have touched them, whether this is physically or unfortunately, whether this is sexually. This energy is coming through here and... This is why there's a withdrawal here. Some of you all may not even be ready to date again because you don't trust anybody. You don't trust anybody with your children. You don't, you just don't. It was too much betrayal in your past for you to even try to consider, you know, having a relationship with somebody else. May not have been something if you don't have children, could have been something that happened to you as a child for some of you all. But I just feel that there was a lot of hurt and pain that you all are trying to break away from. I just want to be free. I want to be free of all these thoughts in my head. I want to be stronger. I feel like somebody's becoming a lot stronger. And they're realizing they're a lot stronger than they thought they were. So let's take a look here. I mean, the most important messages for the sign of Scorpio. Most important messages. Can you speak more about this betrayal? Yeah. That was definitely a third party situation. You got three way love affair. Bottom of the deck. Yeah. Somebody that said they wanted a commitment, but they really weren't being honest about this. This is somebody that didn't want it. Okay, give me more messages, please. Give me more messages for the sign of Scorpio. Yeah, that's definitely third party energy. You have dark woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair, okay? Some of you all may fit this description or the person that they portrayed you with may fit this description. This is somebody that's trying to return to you. But this is somebody, again, I get the energy of somebody with their hands crossed behind their back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for a commitment. I want to be with you. But what they're not telling you is I don't feel obligated to commit to you because I'm non-committal. But I'm going to tell you I'm coming back to you because it's real. Because keep in mind, whoever this is, is coming from a low vibrating place. And this is somebody with the seven of swords energy. This is someone that every time you try to call their phone so you all can hang out, you can do these certain things. All of a sudden, they're so, so busy. Ain't nobody that damn busy. You're not a celebrity. Even celebrities have downtime. What they were hiding from you is this three-way love affair. And the fact that they were just looking for a good time. Deceit, if I ever seen it. Somebody already saw this situation. It came to somebody in a dream. Somebody's mother that passed on. Somebody's mother that passed on. You have fair woman. Somebody's mother that could be an ancestor. There's a lot of female energy here. Some of y'all, this could resonate to somebody that's a lesbian. Because I'm getting strong energy of a same-sex couple. Um... For some of you all, there could have been messages you were receiving, downloads you were receiving that something isn't right and you need to look at something closer. Disappointment in a friend or lover. I'm telling you, somebody was betrayed. For some of you, you were betrayed by your friend that may have been involved with your lover. For some of you all, hey, put the situation where it resonates. Lighthearted and carefree times, okay? Times ahead, things are happening, changes are being made because of the advice you receive. What did I tell you? Some of you all, this is either spiritually or this is somebody in your life. Could be somebody's mother, mother figure, just somebody that's a feminine energy that someone trusts. And they were like, listen, baby, this situation here, you need to see this through new eyes. 
Work, achievement, and goals, okay? When you work hard and achieve, you will succeed. Somebody is working hard. This could help them to move away emotionally from this situation. And it says money or property through an inheritance, a winning, or a windfall. Somebody, if you're not already, somebody's going to win in a casino or just some simple little scratch off or something at your job. Somebody's going to be like, oh, my God, I was not expecting this. But that was something that was in the making. That's a blessing you receive for being a good person, okay? Good karma gets good karma. Bad karma gets bad karma, basically. All right, let me go ahead and close off this reading with some final messages from both sides, as well as a couple of intuitives, all right? Most important messages for the sign of Scorpio. Overall, Queen of Wands. Look at y'all stepping into that bitch fire energy. I love the Queen of Wands. Ooh, I love the Queen of Wands. Plus, you got the fool. This is somebody that's like, I'll never be a fool again. I'll tell you that much. I'm going to walk away from a situation. Somebody's leaving and they're also taking the dog. <laughs> well, I just got somebody's taking the family pet. Like, I'm taking my dog too. And I don't care what you say. Somebody's walking away, they're feeling more vibrant, they're, or you're going to be into this energy later on. You feel determined, you feel your ambition and everything. You feel like you've uplifted yourself so much since you walked away from this player, player from the Himalayas. Look at that king of wands in there, there in the reverse. <sighs> and now they don't know what to, nothing. Oh, let me tell you something. They don't know what to do with themselves. Oh my God, you got them in their head like crazy. Uh-huh, the same way that they had you feeling with that Ten of Swords, now they got to sit in it because that tower came down on the ASS. Baby, I'm telling you, what you put out, you get back. What you put out, you get back. Listen, there were some obstacles in your life that everybody has obstacles that they have to overcome. Okay, and I feel that right now some of you all are feeling emotionally low. You don't feel good about yourselves because you feel like you were manipulated and you were hurt. But everybody is not like this person, okay? Because somebody can't get past the betrayal to the point where they're afraid to even move forward. They're defensive against any man or woman that comes near them and gives them attention. But let me tell you something. Sometimes you have to be okay with not having closure. This person betraying you, Scorpio, that is your closure. Sometimes it's not a definite, hey, I'm sorry I did you wrong. Sometimes you have to just, know, you have to go on knowing there won't be no closure. But knowing you won't do that again. Because you know what? You're going to keep looking back to how you used to be. And say, I'll never let this be me again. Because now I'm the queen of wands. I'll never let nobody bring me to that point again. Don't worry about the closure. F closure. Your closure is walking away because this situation here, this person here was to teach you a lesson. This is why this king of wands can't sit next to you. You can't sit on my throne when you low vibrating. This person was toxic. Maybe a twin flame that didn't want to do any work. Could be a karmic that was there to teach you a lesson. But one thing's for sure, you don't want to be in that five of pentacles energy again, feeling the lost and feeling cold and feeling on the outside. Because there's an energy here that somebody got put out. Somebody got put out their house. You don't want to go back to that. See, this person is ruthless, okay? This is an impulsive person that lives a double life and they are power hungry and they don't give a damn of who they hurt, okay? They never deliver on their promises and all they do is gossip because they think they know everything i know everything you can't tell me nothing but let me tell you something <laughs> the same way these people try to put you out try to hurt you karma came right back around and kicked them in the butt don't worry about it scorpio they get to watch you shine as you move forward if you guys enjoyed this reading, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Again, I'm a Sag Moon Diva. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.